And I'd like to begin with the December 14th video. on December 14th, 2012. Uh, the incident at Sandy Hook. You have to keep your voice up. The incident at Sandy Hook. <laughs> and did Alex Jones go on the air that day? Yes. And there's about a 50-minute um, segment. No, I'm going to uh, play for you what I'm going to represent is already in evidence as plaintiff's exhibit number one, a 50-minute segment. Plaintiff's exhibit number one is a family photo. Sorry, plaintiff's video exhibit. Plaintiff's video exhibit one is in evidence. Plaintiff's video exhibit one is in evidence. What is your intel from this town, this area? If you have family, call them, find out, and call us. We're leaving the phones open for you. I'm going to go to Gary here in a moment. Here's Paul Watson's new article. And this just makes my blood boil. You knew the ghouls wouldn't even wait a couple hours until they tried to... These people have bodyguards. I've had Michael Moore's... This is on video and martial law. Try to stop me filming him from 50 feet away in the streets of New York. Actually, the same day those communists said they wanted to kill me. And it's all on tape. Come up and start start ramming their elbows into me. You know what I did when his bodyguards did that to me? I just ran my elbow right into them. You know what? They were big, so-called, you know, you know, tough guys. And you know what? They backed off real quick. Oh, you're going to hit me with your elbow? Here, how about you? How about I just ram my elbow into you? How do you, oh, you and you watch it on tape. You, you see they start getting back. And it's not that I'm a tough guy. You're going to come out to me, and I'm not even around Michael Moore, and ram your elbow into me? How about I ram my elbow into you, punk? And they had guns, by the way, bulging underneath their shirts. So this pig, Michael Moore, this self-propelled goblin, he wants your guns because of this. Michael Moore calls for strict gun control after school massacre. Piers Morgan implies that all handguns should be banned. Infowars.com, prisonbot.com. Filmmaker Michael Moore quickly sees upon the tragic shooting massacre in Connecticut to call for strict gun control, while CNN host Piers Morgan implied that all handguns should be banned, except in the hands of the government. And remember, he's from England where they banned guns. Liberal talking points wasted no time in exploiting the uh, horrendous events this morning at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, where 18 children were amongst the 27 killed to push their political agenda. I need to add the uh, Ron Emanuel clip in here, and, and it, it's, 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 it's got it all there with the tweets of the pig, uh, Michael Moore. Let's go to uh, Gary, who has a cousin who was a teacher at the school. Thanks for holding. Give us your information, sir. This, this country is going to hell in a handbasket. Alex, uh, I, I'll, I'll try to make it quick. I was in the barbershop. I got a text message from uh, on my phone about a shooting at an elementary school. I live in New York. I went to college in Connecticut. So I called my, my roommate who I went to school with to make sure his daughter was okay. And then he told me that the school was in Newton. He was in um, the military. And then my mom texted me. And she said, oh, my God, that's Carrie's school. Carrie's my cousin. So I, I told him to put the, the news on at the barbershop. And they said, oh, I bet you're going to think it was an inside job. 
And I said, I'm not saying that it was, but I wouldn't put it past them. And, and they were like, why do they kill innocent children? And I said, excuse me, I said, abortion, vaccines, and poison in food and water. These people are Satan. Yeah, yeah, why did Hitler them? blow up the Reichstag to get control? Why do government stage these things to get our guns? I mean, why can't people get that through their head? I don't know, and it's so frustrating. I live in New York City. We're not even allowed. It, you have to jump over, like, 300 buildings just to get a, a hunting rifle possession permit. And, and it's out of control, so there's not a gun culture here unless you're, an, you know, unless you're a criminal. Then, of course, you can have a gun. And I was telling them how Giuliani last night on Pierce Morgan with his propaganda actually said that, you know, people should be able to have guns and protect their families in the house. And so we put on CNN, and this is when there was only two or three people dead. And, uh, you know, I see the scroll of the ticker on the news. Hold on, I want to hear this. I'm going to fast forward plus a commercial break here. Your Honor, I don't, we're putting the whole video into evidence. That's what we're doing. There was an agreement. Can I be heard? Yes, briefly. <clears throat> I'm not putting any video clips into evidence. If he would like to play the commercial breaks during his cross examination, that's fine. Well, the problem is this exhibit is admitted as an entire video. The other clips were admitted as clips. Um, I mean, the whole thing's going back to the jury. I guess it'll be all right, but it, it isn't. It's the only commercial on the segment that I want to play, and it takes a while. It's a long commercial. It's for a documentary. It takes a while. We can have a further discussion later if we need to. I'm, I'm fine. You can skip it for now. It, it's going back to the jury, so they can watch it if they want to. We're back, and I've been monitoring the news. It is a firestorm. They want total bans of all semi-autos, just as we knew they would do. You've heard me say, look for a big mass shooting at schools. You've heard me. We've got to find the clips the last two months. I've probably said it 20 times. Uh, we've got loaded phone lines, a lot of police officers calling in to give us their take on what's happening. It's more than these dead poor children's eyes. Just, you got to go with your gut, man. My gut tells me I've never felt this freaked out. I told my wife that last night and this morning, and uh, I really think they're going to try to come after the guns. It's going to start a civil war. And Lovells don't care a bunch of police get killed trying to do this, by the way. Man, we're in trouble. we got to pray for this country. There's got to be some way to avert this. Uh, finish up your point about what you saw on the ticker, Gary, and we're going to go to others. Go ahead. You know, you, when your gut's talking to you, I know you, you agree with me. God, God, God. Sure, your phone's not that good, so finish up. Okay. So, uh, you see the ticker and it says 22 children stabbed in China. I said, oh, I guess they, they should want to ban guns too. And the guy says, you're crazy with your gun culture. And I said, no. But the Second Amendment was put in to govern the government and protect the people from tyranny and protect other countries from invading our country. So then I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my cousin and she's, she's a mess. So she can't really talk to my mom. My mom ends up talking to my uncle. Now, all of this, this is from my uncle who got it from my cousin, relaying it to us. She was in her classroom, she's a fourth grade uh, special ed teacher. Um, she's in her classroom, the principal is out in the hallway, he stops to talk to somebody, and the next thing she knows is she, she hears gunshots. So she grabs the, the girl that was with her at her desk and she brings her into the bathroom and she tells her, we gotta be really quiet until the noise stops. So the noise ends up stopping, CNN said there was a hundred shots fired. Now they're saying that there was two handguns fired. So I don't know too many handguns that are gonna, gonna release a hundred shots. Sure, what else did she say? Happened. What else did she say? Well, she took, she took the girl after the, the shots stopped and when she came outside and crossed the hallway, um, she had to step over the, the principal who was murdered and then she, then she left the school. She's freaking out. There's, there's 18 children right now that are unaccounted for. Now 
crime occurring the ones who, 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 who were murdered. Yeah, that's and the report I, I, we're getting right now. This could be this could be 30, 40 dead kids. We pray that's not the case. Uh, these little angels. Uh, here is our hotline number for people to call and leave messages with their numbers if you're in Connecticut and can't get through or later in the day uh, if anybody needs to call us with any eyewitness reports or anything like this 512-646-4417 please folks don't call up with other issues 512-646-4417 now i've got people calling in with all sorts of information on this subject but get a hold of your cousin when she settles down and, and, and get her to talk to us for any other information. We need to know, were there any drills that day or the day before? Uh, does she know anything? Does she have anything about other shooters, or was it that she never saw the shooters? Well, I had to ask them if, if it was supposedly to, because they, they have a lot of security at that school. You have to ring a doorbell in order to get into the school. Yeah, of course. And this is another side of that, you know, 20 federal yeah, model schools. The thing that, that just scared the daylight out of me, I had, I had a call right away, is I asked them, did, did they ever train for this? And my uncle said yes. Within, within this school year, since September, they have trained for incidents like this. Well, that in and of itself isn't the uh, proof of it, but they can use a drill to then bring in a patsy. Uh, well, it could just be a Prozac kid. We'll find out. God bless you, sir. I appreciate your call. Stay in contact. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Rob, who says emails released prior to the shooting. We're looking into that. We're going to go to Chris in Connecticut, police officer. Let's go to Chris first. Chris is listening on shortwave. Chris, tell us what you know. Hi, Alex. I'm just watching uh, the news now. I guess uh, the shooter's name is Ryan Lanza. He's um, a resident of Newtown, and his mother was a teacher there, and it uh, looks like she's one of the dead, for what the news reports are saying. So, so the spoiled, spoiled mama's boy? I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I don't know. Um, but uh, the reason I called, I was, uh, as police officer, I was kind of upset with you saying, talking about this stand-down issue. We've been trained for many, many years now since Columbine. It, we go within, we go in with what we have, and we've been trained with patrol rifles. We have rifles. We um, we gather up the whole shift and, and uh, make entry now. Sure. What we, happened we, in Blacksburg then, where the feds show up and order the police not to go in? Uh, I can't speak on that. I'm just speaking on my my experience as a police officer. I'm trained to go in, take care of the active active shooter immediately. We don't sit and wait anymore. There's no orders of that from my superiors. Let's go, Chris. Stay there. I'm sorry. I gotta go to break. It's a hard break, uh, a local break. We gotta go. But stay there if you can. I'll come back and give you two minutes to finish up any other points. Uh, then we've got another uh, police officer, Sean in Nevada, wants to give us their take on this. Pete in Long Island reporting second shooter, CBS. Yeah, we got that. Jakari Jackson was researching drills at the school and just found a link in a Time Magazine article, a school Twitter photo of the little kids lined up just a few months ago in a uh, shooter drill, and they're just so tiny, these kindergartners. But then it makes me think about all these wars and these drones where they say they'll kill 200 people at a wedding, putting little kids to get one bad guy, and that's collateral damage. So don't ever think the globalists that have hijacked this country wouldn't stage something like this. They kill little kids all day, every day, and it's not our government, it's the globalist. And all I know is, Thousands of people have died in Mexico from Fast and Furious, and many of them children. So don't ever think this couldn't be staged. Now, I've said this guy's, what, 20 years old, who they're saying the shooter was. And I was literally saying, look up his age. I bet he's 20-something, a video game, active shooter, addicted Prozac head. If he's not a staged event. And again, I'm not saying you're evil if you play video games, but I'm giving you the profile of real shooters we've seen are these nihilistic, devil worshiper, mama's boy types uh, who do this type of stuff. If you want to profile somebody, uh, it's generally white or Hispanic male. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to get into it. I'm just so sick of it. I'm going to shut up and go back to the police officer in Connecticut real quick. Chris, anything else you want to add you think people should know about this? Well, I, I think we got to learn to protect ourselves uh, and our children better. You know, another gun-free zone um, taking advantage of Alex. You know, it's just uh, uh, time for, to, to harden ourselves and, and harden our schools and, and, and really get serious about security. And, and uh, hard, I know the, the liberal media is going to go after the guns, and it's not the guns issue. It's, it's, it's being secure in our lives. We've now confirmed that 
they began to tweet minutes after when they didn't even know. I mean, they are like ghouls just ready to jump on this. I, and, and I mean, now they got, they're got they showing the kid, I guess he was 24 years old, they're saying now he's not a 20-year-old, he's a 24-year-old, the, uh, the shooter that's dead. Um, and like I said before, I guess uh, his mother was a teacher there and she's amongst the dead. So uh, and it, it's going to be something to see it unfold. And, but, but I just wanted to make sure I got that point out there. We're trained to go in, Alex, and uh, as far as the stand-down issue, um, I, I know um, statewide we're, we're, we're trained and ready to go. What about the reports of the van with its windows shot out and other people, another guy being SWAT teamed? Well, there was another guy that got in the woods. I guess he was in camo, and uh, uh, you know they they were just saying uh, when he was being dragged out of the woods, uh, witnesses heard him say, "I didn't do it, I didn't do it," and um, they have him secured somewhere away um, and being uh, interrogated right now. But I guess they went to the mother's, the um, shooter's mother's home, and uh, I, I, I believe it was in Newtown, and they found her dead on the floor at home. Unbelievable. Yeah, and the more the media advertises this, if it isn't staged, they hype it. Everybody knows criminology, that, that it, when they hype this enough, other people who will, will decide to commit suicide, the new way to commit suicide is go out and shoot a bunch of people and have the cops then kill you. I don't know why these cowards don't just shove a gun in their mouth and kill themselves. Why do they have to go kill a bunch of kids uh, in the process? And, and uh, it, they're, they're targeting gun-free zones, too, because they know that it's going to be a long time before anybody attacks them. Well, you know, we can't sit by like sheep anymore, and, and we got to we gotta defend ourselves out. Well, look, if you can have police outside movie theaters, you can have them in, the, in these big public schools that are targets. If they're not going to arm the principals and people, and then they'll put the police in and have you there doing other stuff with the kids, you know, turning into a police state. But, I mean, you just imagine that these are the top, this is the advertised place to go kill kids, and we're 310 million people. You know, there's only a few hundred of these demons out there, but they're just, they're just, they're just out there. Uh, God bless you. I appreciate your point, sir. Let's go to Sean in Nevada as a police officer, then to Rob. Uh, Sean, you're on the air. What's your take on this? Hey, you know, yeah, I just want to reiterate what, uh, what Chris just said. I, I actually train uh, officers in in the response to these what we call active shooter events, and he's absolutely correct. Um, after Columbine, uh, they realized that that response was absolutely wrong. That was how people were trained prior to that event. That was the first mass shooting like that in the country. The, the training at the time was, but wait till SWAT gets there. Well, SWAT's going to be too far away. Officers are trained to go in and uh, two men sell three or four if they, if they arrive and actively seek out the shooter. They are trained to actually, actually as harsh as it sounds, to bypass victims. And we do drills. We have role players that are on the floor wearing... Uh, well, uh, sure, because if you give them aid, then the shooter's going to come up and shoot you and keep killing people. Well, with the train to track this person down, to go towards the shooting, find the shooter and, and eliminate them. Then the rescue effort starts, the searching starts. So that's how they're trained. So as far as the pandemic she goes, um, whatever you got that from, that, that's misinformation. That's not how we're, how we're trained. If that happened in an incident, it was completely and totally wrong. I hear you. Know, I know wrong. they changed it, except when the feds get involved like Blacksburg. Remember that? A few years ago in Virginia where they sat there for over two hours again because the feds said we're in control of this? Well, I, I mean, I don't know who would listen to that. I wouldn't listen to it. <laughs> like you said yourself, if kids are getting killed, I don't, know, I don't know one single officer that would not go in on duty or off duty by themselves to take care of that, that incident. Um, in fact, Sports Science, Sports Science News is an organization out of, uh, out of Canada that uh, um, analyzes police shootings and that kind of stuff and these kinds of events. It came out with a report this month in the newsletter uh, that recommends based upon statistics, a no longer even doing a two or three officer response, waiting for them to get there, that a single officer response is better because statistically, it's almost like a, uh, like a trained or ingrained response to these people. When they are confronted with police, they either kill themselves or they give up. We, you know, we see that repeatedly. Well, only the ultimate coward would want to go kill children, so of course, and in some of this, like the Batman shooter, 
I mean, that whole thing is psychotropic drugs up one side and down the other. You can't debate it. Thank you so much, sir, for your call. We appreciate that, Sean. You know, you hear these police, they really sound like good men, don't they? But then you got the government on top of them that's as corrupt as the day is long. And if they try to come for people's guns, folks, it's going to be really bad news. I just, I'm just having so much dread right now. And I just think, I, I, it's, when you got small children, this really gets to you. That's why the globalists use children's deaths to go after our guns, because they know it gets to us. You know, these liberals would rather have the children aborted immediately, but if they can, you know, uh, if they can use them being killed by these shooters, then that's even better for them. Rob in New York, and I'm going to look this up. We've been looking. I haven't found it yet. What's, where'd you find this emails release prior to shooting? Uh, tell us what you know about that. Yeah, how's it going, Alex? I was just watching um, Channel 7 ABC News on Long Island, uh, New York, and um, I was wondering about the coincidence that they were saying that there were um, emails sent out to family members just recently. They didn't say an exact date. It was saying in the email that this is the same exact situation to be on the lookout for. Say that again? That this is the same exact situation to be on the lookout for. Uh, these emails. Yeah, I know they announced it said a few weeks ago, new security procedures and you had to get through a gate and all this, basically turning it into a, uh, it turned the whole thing into a prison. Uh, but uh, we'll continue to look at that. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, sir? Yeah, I was just wondering, I mean, is it, I mean, it's a coincidence, or, or, or what is their connection or the correlation? Is that the idea that this person got, you know, because of these training drills to go and do that, or is that just, you know? All I know is that, and I appreciate your call, because I, I've read a lot of criminology books because they're so interesting. When I was younger, I read them they were interesting, but later in life I realized it was important. Criminals love to brag, that's one thing everybody knows, but another big thing is crazy people Every time they had somebody jump off the Empire State's building or jump off the World Trade Center and be on the news, immediately they put police up there before they built the big fences because crazies would show up and want to do the same thing. And then, and then it would cause a cascade of, I mean, you know, some, some of the cases, four or five people in a week would jump off a skyscraper. And it happens in Dallas, Chicago, everywhere. Uh, and it's the same thing. A lot of times when you have a bank robber robbing things in a certain mask, if it happens enough, other people will go get masks and do the same thing. And uh, people are highly suggestible. Ryan Lanza ID'd as Newtown School shooting gunman. He looks like a hipster. Oh, I bet money that guy was on a bunch of serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The alleged gunman appears to possibly point to the wrong man. Ryan Lanza lists his hometown as... Newtown, but indicates he mostly was uh, recently raised in Hoboken. So who knows if that's even the right guy. What, what publication is that out of? Inquisitor. All right, we'll continue. Look, you better know this. All day at Infowars.com and PrisonBlotter.com. Throughout the weekend, I'll be filing reports. Um, they will use this to come after our guns. And um, it makes me so angry at, at Michael Moore and Piers Morgan and people like this. Because... Because they know, they know that mass shootings are flat in the last 20 years. They know that overall crime is much higher in areas where they restrict the Second Amendment. And they're really angry that the gun culture is starting to take hold here. And all I can tell the police is, you better let the feds know. Because, I, I mean, let me tell you something. People are not turning their guns in. And uh, if they tried to get the police to do that, it is, it is going to cause a big problem, and I don't want that to happen. We're going to skip this network break coming up because this news is so important. Plus, we have this report we've worked on for weeks, breaking down the fact that 2012, December 21st, is not the end of the world. We've got this that Aaron and I put together with myself. We're going to air that in a moment. Um, we've got uh, CBS second shooter reporter. We've confirmed all those reports. We're going to go to you, Bill, in Connecticut. It says, next count over from resident. We're going to go to him in a moment. I'm going to take a break here and, and, and play this special report on 2012 because a lot of you tuned in today to hear it. And I'm going to compose myself here. Um, cause he, he heard me a few days ago, Mike Adams, say this stuff's really starting to get to me. And I, uh, I'm torn because I end up thinking about this all the time and working all the time till I'm like a zombie. And then I can't take off to recharge my batteries because all I'm doing is thinking about this. And uh, I'm not trying to whine on air. I, I just... Um,
country is in so much trouble, that's all I can say. And you know, we need to boycott Piers Morgan, we need to boycott Michael Moore and all these other people that use stuff like this to try to take our rights. America is America because of the First and Second Amendment and the Tenth Amendment. Teacher's son, 24, shoots dead 29, including 22 children at Connecticut Elementary as he and the second shooter massacre cowering students in the worst school shooting in American history. And that is a inside job right there, either way you cut it. I bet money that woman was a super liberal. I bet money. That's what I said. I said, I bet he's in his 20s, a big video gamer, a trendy. I said that to Jakari and Melissa Melton and David Knight back there in their office. And uh, they're like, yeah, he's 20-something, yeah, and then we found his photo up. And, you know, it may just be a nut. Well, uh, maybe staged. So you know they're going to use it, though. Heaven help us. Uh, but the media is saying, here's the guy's photo, but then there's, there's other photos of a guy with the same name. Who knows? We'll have to contract this. Uh, I talked to Bill, who's in Connecticut, next town over, uh, from um, where this happened. What, what's your take on this, Bill? Uh, well, I'm watching the local cable news, and they seem to be have the most updated and accurate information. And they just indicated uh, moments ago that the police are going door to door looking for a second gunman. And then they have a helicopter shot over another school a mile south uh, called, uh, let me see, St. Rose of Lima School. And about six policemen were in the parking lot. And then suddenly they just bolted into the school about five minutes ago. So they're, right now it's just an overhead shot and really no one knows why they went into the school, but it, it gives one pause to wonder what they're doing at that school to begin with. Now, 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 now say that again for me. What exactly is happening on the local news? The, the police were in a parking lot of another school about a mile south of the other school. And the school is Rose of St. Rose of Lima School. Sure. And there were about six policemen in the parking lot. And suddenly they bolted into the school. What? Uh, thinking there may be another shooter? I'm sure there's false alarm. People are probably panicking. Or, or I didn't see the video of this. I mean, what did it look like to you? Um, it looked like something was going on inside the school. Now, the reporters on the scene from the local reporters are saying that the police are going door to door in the area, apparently looking, they're assuming that they're looking for another gunman. Oh yeah, L listen, I, I, even a Prozac head, because again, they admit it can cause psychotic breaks and make people have no empathy and do this. Uh, it takes incredible will to go around shooting little bit of kids. Um, and uh, I mean, most soldiers, even with instinctive training, have trouble killing other men up close. And it's just, it's just unbelievable. But, but, but I mean, there, there is this nihilistic, sicko, Satan culture out there where, you know, people think it's really cool to talk about hurting kids. And all I'd like to say is, is man, I'd like to get my hands on them. That's all I can say. But this could be staged as well. I mean, the Batman thing had all the signs of it, and more just keeps coming out. And it is crazy to think government could be doing this, but they did Fast and Furious. Sirhan Sirhan was mind-controlled. The police report said he didn't shoot RFK. And there's so many examples of real mind control programs. Uh, you know, it's hard to believe the government does ex secret experiments on kids and kills them, but it's been declassified. I don't know. What's your gut tell you about this? I, get, I, I, I agree with you that there's there's something more to it. You just you don't have all of these incidents happen clustered in the past few years and not having some other uh, factor. Well, notice, notice it didn't happen the last few years, and now that Obama's coming in with gun control, magically these shootings are popping up. Uh, I mean, uh, heaven help us, folks. Pray for no copycats. Here are the headlines up at prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Michael Moore calls for strict gun control after school massacre. Enemies of Second Amendment will exploit Connecticut shooting. We're just going to continue... Uh,
uh, here, folks, into overdrive. We're going to continue here throughout the hour taking your phone calls. Enemies of Second Amendment will exploit Connecticut shooting. We've got that headline. Monolithic intelligence agency collecting info on every American to protect crimes. Trilaterals discuss big war in Middle East as Obama sends soldiers to Turkey. TSA calls bomb specialist on wheelchair-bound 12-year-old girl with bone disorder. She cries, telling the mother she couldn't comfort them. It's all about dominating us. Samsung TVs can be hacked to spy on viewers. I mean, it's just all insane. Uh, right now, let's go back to your calls. Toll-free number for everybody to join us, 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Pete in Long Island, who's been holding. Pete, give us your take on the situation. Alex, I think, uh, like you mentioned before, we need to say a prayer for all the victims, the victims' families, the first responders on the scene, and the teachers, everyone who's witnessing this horrific event. Um, I'm monitoring the Newswire here in Long Island, CBS News, you know, because they got the all-seeing eye of their logo. And it's really interesting. I had a couple of points that didn't give me time. I know they brought up at the end of the show, but... No, I'm going to keep going. We're in overdrive. Go ahead. All right, great. Well, they're talking... This, this one reporter asked the local reporter on the scene. You know, we had uh, reports of a second shooter in the woods, and he wouldn't confirm that story. So they're not ready to come forward with a second shooter yet. They're still pushing this narrative that was a lone gunman, you know. And the second thing I wanted to talk about was that this is very reminiscent of the Dunblane Massacre in Great Britain back in 96 that pushed a total gun ban in Great Britain in 1997. I wanted to give you a thoughts on that. Uh, I, I, I listened to the calls, but then since I'm going to overdrive, I was having to give them the directions. They popped in my ear for five seconds. What was the last question? I wanted to give you thoughts on how this is eerily reminiscent of the Dumbling School Massacre in Great Britain. No, 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 incredibly. And, and, and they had a Tasmanian shooting that was just the same. Uh, and look, here's the deal. People who are ignorant go, Alex, how can you always say we've got to look at this as government? I'm not saying that. I'm saying if governments have a history of being caught staging fake shootings and bombings to take people's liberties, and crack down on the public in the name of security and you've got telltale signs of it over and over again uh, you've got to then investigate to see if criminal elements of government or foreign corporations or the UN or others are involved um, I mean it's a fact that Israel just type in Israel created fake Al-Qaeda groups Israel staged bombings against itself. I'm not saying all bombings against Israel are, are, are fake, but I mean, that's Herat's in Jerusalem Post. I'm not anti-Israel because I report Israel's been caught doing it. Uh, Germany, London Guardian, uh, Der Spiegel reports, has been caught firebombing buildings to blame on the right wing to take liberties. That, that, that happened a bunch in the 90s. Uh, governments do this. Uh, and, and so uh, being naive about it, I mean, and I'm not saying you're saying this, I'm answering your question, really only helps the globalists do this more. Are there real crazies? Yes. Do they hype mass school shootings where unstable people then think about it? That's a way to do it, too. Listen, when they have real terror attacks, we've had real power plants and chemical plants blown up and real bombings in this country, corporate terrorism and stuff where it's real groups doing it, and it's on the news one time, never heard again, because you don't give terrorism attention. Okay, that used to be in the handbooks till the early 90s. Of all major governments, you don't give it attention. That gives the terrorists what they want. When you see a terror attack and they hype it like it's the end of the world, you can better believe governments behind it or they allow it to happen or they're going to use it to take your freedoms and they're being cynical. So uh, there's your answer. Yeah, no, I mean... They, and the left are a bunch of eugenics, death-loving, secret testing on population collectivists who want control of your children and your life and who want death education in the schools and who want to euthanize old people and children and kill babies up to age three. If you're a new listener, just type in bioethics uh, publication, you know, bioethics uh, medical journal, you know, calls for killing babies up to age three. 
they use children to scare you into submission to get your guns. More guns means less crime, and the gun culture is winning. And if we beat them on that, we can beat them on everything. Where people know that the government wants our guns to enslave us, when the local police understand that, when the states understand that, and with that basic understanding, we can beat them on every front. And we've had police calling today and say, absolutely, these schools are victim disarmament zones where crazy people like this son of one of the teachers reportedly now, 18 dead children, will put up the latest numbers there on screen for folks. And if we can, just throw that article up there with the latest numbers, guys. And we'll go to people's phone calls uh, here. 27 dead, including 18 children, at Sandy Hook School shooting in Newtown, one of the biggest school shootings uh, in our history. And they used school shootings in England that had government connections that later turned out, and in Australia to take the guns. This is the mode. The government shipped tens of thousands of guns in anger days into Mexico to blame the Second Amendment and got caught doing it. Uh, the government, that is, the criminals that run Washington, D.C. Our government's using Al-Qaeda which we forced into mainstream news, New York Times this week. The White House had to respond to kill Christians, to blow up mosques, to blow up synagogues, to go after minority groups in Syria. Our government is backing al-Qaeda, so don't think for a minute they wouldn't wind up some crazy person and protect them and let them do this. Now, I don't know that. This guy fits the M.O., you know, some trendy, you know, spoiled, rotten brat going in and killing his mommy and her whole class. I mean, just little bitty children uh and there's so much evil in our culture now i mean th people are really into sick stuff now and that's all the reason for me to own guns okay i don't want to live like they do in the cities where they ban the guns and the crime rates off the chart and the thugs rule everything and that's what i'm going to say on that subject we've got articles up at infowars.com and prisonplanet.com Michael Moore, that disgusting anti-American authoritarian pig, he's not a liberal. Uh, well, I've seen with bodyguards with guns in New York who manhandled me. It's on video in martial law, my film, uh, when I'm like 15 feet away doing nothing but videotaping him. Michael Moore calls for strict gun control after school massacre. Enemies of Second Amendment will exploit Connecticut shooting. Big article there that's got links to admitted mind control in the previous death. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to be getting to all of that, but right now let's get your take from callers. Eddie in Texas wants to talk about the supposed Facebook page uh, for the reported shooter. And I will uh, give you uh, more of his name and information here in a moment. Go ahead, uh, you're on the air, sir. Yeah, Alex, yeah, I was just watching the Alex Jones show. I'm down here in uh, Rockstown, Texas, and uh, we looked at the name because they went ahead and uh, they said his name on one of the local news stations, Ryan Lanza, I believe, and uh, immediately we got on Facebook, and their Facebook page is <laughs> Is I think the you know it's just all this 
torturous things that they, you know, these kids try to play these video games and, and then the, the government lets allow these things to go on. I think it brainwashes people into, into personally believing that it's cool to go around and, you know, to play this Call of Duty-like life and things oh, like no, that. Oh, no, 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 there's no doubt, and, and, and uh, great points. Uh, there's no doubt. People say, well, I play Call of Duty, I'm not a killer. That's because you weren't already twisted a little bit mentally ill and on a serotonin reuptake inhibitor that literally programs you. The, 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 the Pentagon developed video games. Video games were invented because in Vietnam and previous wars, if somebody was like 10 feet away from you, a lot of people wouldn't kill somebody. So it's called instinctive shooting. That's what paper targets were for, was to get you to your know, bad guy, good guy, woman with a baby, don't shoot, guy with a gun, shoot. It was to instinctively train to kill. If you don't have a strong killer instinct at the moment of truth, you will not kill. You will become dead marine. Okay, so it's a killer instinct. And they and, and the, the video game Doom, a first-person shooter deal, was developed for the Pentagon. Okay, so it's a fact. People go, I'm not saying get rid of it because of the First Amendment. What many of these shooters, Harrison Kleibel, let's go on. The, the last guy at the mall, it turns out, was a big shooter gamer. They live this whole world, then they get guns, and they just, uh, you know. I've seen cases where somebody gets a gun, these young people, and there's a shootout at their house that night because they weren't brought up in the Second Amendment culture. And they, just because the culture's falling apart and rotting apart, doesn't, you know, it, it'd be like saying ban having children for everybody because other people might abort their kid. That makes no sense. That'd be like ban, you know, sports because somebody might get hurt. You know, because there's bad people out there, you don't get to take my guns. That's the reason I have my guns. And there is this, if you have to talk about them, it's like a punk, you know, uh, black, white, Hispanic, you name it. But a lot of times that's white, white or Hispanic. I've noticed that trend. Uh, blacks is usually statistically, it's just, I guess, a cultural, the way the media works, things. You know, you blacks killing blacks is, you know, other males. But then a lot of times if it's white or Hispanics, and, and, and they kill each other in gang stuff too, but statistically these, uh, these active shooter things are, uh, you know, uh, everybody goes postal, but, but it just keeps being white guys, and sometimes Hispanic. Uh, and it's a video game head, they're usually into the occult, uh, they're hipster trendies, and they throw a fit and go kill a bunch of people. Uh, and uh, you've also got veterans. They'll kill cops if they come to their house. They'll kill their family because they've been five, six, seven tours. The Pentagon puts them on drugs, and that's a terrible idea. Let's go to uh, Ben in Louisiana. Uh, what's your take on this? Um, I mean, it's practically the same thing as always. I think how it's kind of weird, just like you said. Even if it isn't uh, an inside job, even if it wasn't the government or whatever, they're still going to use it to their advantage. As a matter of fact, I can see right now on my TV on Fox News, President Obama's uh, making an announcement and all that stuff. I can almost guarantee that he's going to say we need to get rid of the guns. But it's, uh, for, for instance, like you said, uh, Israel puts like you know the M16s in my lockers, which, by the way, I didn't know. But I mean, that's perfect. Uh, you know, give the teachers for elementary schools and the, all these schools, give the teachers the guns, train them how to use them. Well, actually, in many areas of Israel, the students bring M16s. <laughs> but, but, I mean, my dad used to bring his rifles and shotguns to school. And then that's just like me. I'm 20 years old. I just graduated high school two years ago. We were allowed to have our guns in our trucks. We just couldn't take them out. But, I mean, you know, it's, the, it's, it's just like you said. You know, it, everybody wants to get away from the guns which isn't really the problem. No, the problem, look, look, blaming guns for crime is like blaming spoons for fat people. It's like blaming, uh, you know, let's say, you know, Michael Vick was fighting dogs, so let's ban everybody owning dogs because somebody might do something bad with a dog. Do you see what I'm, I mean, you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, how does the anti-gun control, you know, I mean, how does the, you know, the uh, I'm the anti-gun control crowd. How does the anti-gun crowd sell that? Look, they're authoritarians. Michael Moore, all these people, they have a job. Break the American spirit, get our guns. 
MTV, all of it pushes the gangster culture, the violent culture, the video games, the nihilism, the Satanism, in the name of scaring all of us and turning our guns in. No, I guarantee you gun sales are going to be all-time record now, and that's good. The answer is, look, I can kill people with a hammer. I can kill you with my car. I can kill you with a nail gun. I can kill you with a hatchet. It's this idea that, 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 that it's guns that are causing the violence. There's as many stabbings every year as there are shootings. Look it up. Well, CNN, Salon, all of them, I've got the articles right here. They're all blaming the Second Amendment, just saying man guns, period. Obama has come out and given a speech. I have a transcript of it. We're printing off right now. And he said, we've got to come together and take meaningful action to stop this, and that means restrict uh, the Second Amendment. So uh, you know they're going to exploit this tragedy. You know, Hollywood puts out the most indiscriminate violence, death, murder, you name it, showing people using firearms in an improper way. And then on top of it, they're anti-gun. So remember that, too. Remember that, too. So uh, this is the idea. Uh, by the way, here's an article. People pointed this out. We need to do a report on this. Maybe I'll get one of the writers to you know, ask the question, will Obama call for banning knives? Uh, here is the article. Uh, this is out of uh, current.com. Knife-wielding man injures 22 children in China. A knife-wielding man slash 22 children and an adult in an elementary school in central China on Friday. State media reported that the latest in a series of attacks on school children in the country. Yeah, they're having their own epidemic. Like I saw one where they killed a bunch of kids in Japan with knives. So there is a certain type of demon ghoul especially with all the advertising of this, that goes out to attack children. And uh, here is Obama says there will have, have to be, uh, this actually cut off the printout, so I can't, can't read it, uh, of these incidents in recent years have been too many, and they're going to have to come together to take meaningful action to stop more incidents like these, regardless of the politics. Uh, and it just goes on and on. He says he's very heartbroken for the dead children, of course, not the ones he's bombing illegally with drones right now, though. You know, that's collateral damage when you kill 50-something kids at a wedding to kill one guy you claim is bad, violating the Geneva Convention illegally in somebody else's country with robot drones killing people. But that's collateral damage, though. You know, we're not going to hear about those kids when we show them. We're just going to be showing these kids over and over again to get our guns. Just remember the cold-blooded way they're using these murdered children, sucking, you know, you know, the, like vampires, the, 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 the energy of these murdered children for themselves to disarm us so they can make us their collective slaves. Noel in Virginia, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex, how you doing? I'm not doing too good. Well, I'm, I'm yeah, it's the same. I talked to you on the election night. I was the last caller, if, if, if you recall. But the bomb, you know, my, my little boy just went with his mother because what's up for it. Anyway, listen, I don't believe anything that the news media says. I believe that this is all orchestrated. I, I, I believe that this is just, they, the government has no respect for our rights anymore. They're doing this so they can take our guns. And then we all can go into Agenda 21. Well, listen, they've got people that hate guns so bad, we're noticing a trend with sicko leftists on Twitter where they're praising this, saying, good, now we can get their guns, use this Obama to take their guns and give us their money. So they've got nihilistic liberals that hate America so much, we should look at that as a theory, that they may start having their own zombies do this. That's how bad they want our guns. It's like a form of suicide bomber, a suicide shooter. A lot of these guys are leftists, we're now learning. They could be doing this to get our guns that way. You ever think about that? Oh, yeah. Listen, I, I, nothing, listen, nothing uh, will stun me anymore in, the, in this world that we live in. We need to pray to God. We need to stay close to our children. But, Alex, if you've got a chance, I know you're a researcher, you need to look at the last three days of CNN at 9 o'clock show, that, that idiot from England. Well, they had gun control issues in those three days. No, I know, no, I know, sir. They have hit the ground running in a buildup, and I said, this is the attack. Look, people got to find the clips the last two months. I said they are launching attacks. They're 
getting ready. I can see them warming up with Obama. They've got a bigger majority in the Congress now in the Senate. They are going to come after our guns, look for mass shootings. And then magically it happens. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They've already taken over health care. The premiums are doubling. They're bankrupting that. They're already shipped GM to China. They are going to gut this country. They're going to shut down the power plants. They're going to bankrupt us. They are re-educating us. Just like you're, we, uh, we were Ukrainians, and they're Russians. They want us bankrupt. They want the counties and the cities bankrupted and federalized. The feds themselves run by globalists. What, is my, what does the new magazine say? You can get it by subscribing. You can, uh, you can get 12 issues. Great way to, This man wants your guns. And I, I break down here, they're declaring war on the Second Amendment, period. They are declaring war on the Second Amendment, period. They are coming after our Second Amendment. It is happening. They want to kill America in 2013. That is their goal. That is what they want. They are moving to do it. Send your tips uh, to Real Alex Jones on Twitter. Tell me what you think. Comment in the articles. I'll be reading what you're saying. We'll have more reports uh, Sunday, 4 to 6, and more reports tonight on the nightly news, 7 o'clock, prisonplanet.tv. There's about 19 seconds of ads at the end. It's one of uh, plaintiff's exhibits. Unless you really want me to, I wasn't going to play. That's fine. Ms. Karpova, is this typical of the Alex Jones show? Uh, which parts are you referring to specifically? The 15 minute segment we watched with the callers coming in, uh, calling in, and reacting to them. Uh, yes, that's how the show goes usually. Um, there were several times when there were uh, glitches that we saw. Um, is that typical, like an uh, article not finished, things like that? Oh, yeah. So the crew will print out the article a lot of times. There's a malfunction with the printer, um, and the lines would be cut off, or the, you know, the sentences would be cut off, like the title would be cut off. It happens all the time. Um, you've worked at InfoWars for going on how long now? Um, Six, seven years. Fair to say that you've been part of InfoWars when it was covering tragedies? Yes. Um, 